Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome home, welcome home, welcome home. We are so excited to have you at the 2021-2022 school year. Excited to have you inside the building. So we are hoping that you are excited too. And maybe you're not. Maybe you're a little anxious. Maybe you're a little worried. You don't know what to expect. That's okay. We have plenty of adults in the building who know how to assist you, to help point you in the right direction. We have our BFGs, our big friendly giants who are there to help out our underclassmen and point you in the right direction. We have a day planned of activities, just reacclimating you back to the building. Those activities will look different according to your grade level. At some time, you may be outside. It, won't, it will not be for the entire half day, but you may be outside. And truthfully, whether you're outside or inside, the building is going to be warm. So please dress appropriately, appropriately for the weather and appropriately for school. Um, a, little, a few friendly reminders. Students, you will need to wear a mask all day. That sometimes can be a little difficult. If you need to pull your mask down just to breathe for a second, put it right back on, but you have to have your mask on. You have to have your ID out and around your neck all day, every day. If you are a student who did not pre-register, then you won't have a student ID, nor will you have a current schedule. So once you get off the bus or once you get out of the car and you're entering into the building, only students who have their ID will enter in through the freshman entrance or through the upperclassmen entrance. You'll go in there, you'll get your breakfast, and then you'll be released into class. If you did not pre-register, you'll report to the auditorium. Please, please, please bring your completed paperwork. That will make it quicker for you to get into the building. So because you're not entering right into the building, you will most likely miss breakfast. So please eat breakfast at home. Once you get your schedule, you'll follow the rest of your schedule. When you get inside the building, we have student lists posted on the windows, in the cafeteria and the four corners and up on the third floor. This will have your last name, comma, your first name, then it will have your room number. You will use that to report to your first period class. Once you're in your first period class, you'll get a brand new schedule. This does not mean that your schedule has changed. It simply means that it is the most current schedule that we have for all of our students. So we ask that you follow your first period class. You are bound to be excited, get a little lost, but don't worry. We are working together to create a fabulous first week where you can understand how we live at Kalamazoo Central, for you to feel comfortable and for you to be excited. Teachers have been working diligently, preparing their classrooms for your arrival, and we are excited to welcome you back. Welcome home and welcome to the start of a fabulous school year. You'll hear more from me later. I'll probably send you another message tomorrow. And I look so forward to seeing you. Parents, it will be okay. Your babies will be okay. And we will all get through this together. Um, because we have, because we are working on creating the safest environment possible for students, we are asking parents, please just send your students. If your student is brand new to Kalamazoo Central, meaning they have never attended a Kalamazoo Public Schools school before, then you will need to register your student. All other parents can sign the forms, even if they're a freshman and your students um, will be on their way. We'll talk later about open house and how we'll have an opportunity for building tours for those people who did not get building tours in um, last spring. See you tomorrow. And as always, let your footprints resonate with excellence.